In this video, I'm going to tell you how to quickly create an award along with associated project and funding in Oracle Fusion Grants Management Cloud. So let's go to Oracle Fusion Cloud and there I'm going to quickly show you. All right, so I've just logged in as the project manager and as you could see, the dashboard itself has got multiple shortcuts such as a shortcut for going to projects dashboard or to awards dashboard. You can either go from here to create a new award or alternatively, you can simply navigate from this navigator and go to grants management and then awards. Both the actions will take you to the same awards dashboard. So this is the award dashboard here. You can see the status of different awards and the graphical user interface in relation to that. Okay, so once you hover over that, it's going to fetch more details from the database to give you further GUI interface. Okay, and that will clearly show you what's the status of that award. Okay. All right. So now we are here to create a new award. And while we are creating the award, we'll also create the associated project and funding for that particular award. So to do that, go to actions menu. And from here, you simply go to quick create award. So as you could see in the screen, the first field is award template name. So I'm going to choose a template which is predefined. You can define your own template and you can choose the one. So basically the advantage of using a template is that it basically pre-populate a number of fields automatically while creating the award, uh, thus saving you a lot of data entry time. Okay. Now, even before we go further here, I'm going to quickly show you that uh, we are on a release uh, 21D, which is uh, the latest Oracle Fusion Cloud applications at the moment. Now, coming back here, so I've chosen the award template name as one year funded award. So we'll create an award for uh, one year duration. The currency is US dollar, the contract type. So by default, it has chosen a contract type you can predefine your own contract and choose it from here the list of values you have two kinds of uh, predefined contracts over here one is with a hard limit and second one is a soft limit so let's say i'm going to choose the one with a soft limit and then here you give a award name so let's say award name is dhhs and then i'm going to simply append it with the date okay and I'm going to give a award number over here, just like this. And then I'm going to come to primary sponsor. Who is the primary sponsor? So primary sponsor is the one who is sponsoring the award. So in other words, who is the primary authority who is sponsoring this award, who is funding the award mm, for execution? So in this case, I'm going to choose, say there are a lot of uh, uh, sponsoring authorities that you can predefine in the system. So presently the system has got a number of predefined bodies already. So I'm going to choose one of them as Department of Health and Human Services, in short DHHS. And then I'm going to choose the start date and end date. So choose it from here. So this is uh, today's start date and let's say we'll end it the same date as end of the year okay so uh, totally it will come out to be say one year in total all right and then principal investigator so basically the role of principal investigator is to own the award and its execution he or she is the one who basically looks after uh, the entire award um, execution and owns the responsibility at every stage of award execution and is answerable to the primary sponsor of the award. So I'm going to choose a principal investigator from here. So let's say that person is uh, Brock Phillips. And then I'm going to go and choose a award owning organization. So by default, it is maintenance progress US, but you can choose from the predefined project organizations or award organizations that you have 
predefined in the system already. So there are a lot of them. I'm going to leave it as it is. And then fatal invoice format is a predefined invoice format that you use it to um, generate invoices against the award in a predefined format. So it is SF270. I'm going to choose it, but you can define on your own and choose the other formats that you have defined it. And once you're done, you can specify any additional information you like and any about additional details. If at all, you have defined a descriptive flex wheel associated with that. With segments, you can choose the uh, descriptive flex field context and then uh, add values to the segments within that. So I'm going to leave this because this is an optional thing. And at this stage, you see, I have not created a project and funding as yet. So you can simply save and close. So by that, what will happen? The system is going to create an award for you. But you can proceed further and you can add the project and funding for this particular award so that all three entities will be created automatically within one go when you hit the save and close button. This is what I want to demonstrate in this particular lesson. So I'm going to click on add project here. And then I'm going to give uh, an association method, say create a new project or alternatively, you can select an existing project which is there in the system and associate it with this particular award. So I'm going to create a new one and then you choose a project template. So let's say if you choose it from here, it's going to show you all the template names. If there is one. Okay, not many choices over here. So this is progress uh, business unit it's there. And you see now the project name has come automatically just like the award name. It has been copied from award name and the number is also copied from award number. If you come down, the project manager is also copied from principal investigator from the award details that we have given. So project information, basic project information has been captured and all the remaining project information will be generated from the attached project template. And then we'll go and proceed further to add funding to this particular project. So click on add funding. Let's say the total funding amount for uh, this is uh, say a million dollar, which includes direct and indirect funding. So let's say a funding number. So I'm going to give something similar. And just for clarity purposes, I'm going to append it with F. And even for this one, um, I don't know if it's, it's going to take this. I'm going to append it with P. And let's say this one, I'm going to append it with A. So A stands for award, P for project and uh, F funding. Okay. And the date is, let's say, starting from today and direct funding amount, let's say $800,000 and direct funding, let's say $200,000. Okay. And this equates to a million dollar uh, funding and uh, then you can split it further to add uh, funding for resources. You see uh, the hyperlink right at the bottom. So if you click on that, you can split it further and add funding by resources if you like. But I'm going to leave it now as it is. And uh, I'm going to leave it at the broader category level of direct funding and indirect funding. And we can later split it as we go along while executing the award and its associated funding amounts. So at this stage, I'm going to simply hit save and close. If at all, we have uh, missed something or if at all, the system is not accepting anything or if at all, there's something overlapping, the system is going to pop up a error message or some sort of a warning. So I'm going to hit the save and close button. And let's see how it goes. All right, you see, we've got an error. The award duration can't break into yearly period specified in the award template, the number of budget uh, period is one. So I believe it's got to do with uh, the start date and end date. Let's try to adjust this, something like this, and see how it goes. I 
I believe I have given one year and one day. So this goes beyond a year period. Hence the system wasn't accepting it. I've adjusted and made that to be exactly one year. So hopefully the system is going to accept and it's going to create an award as along with the associated project and the funding details. So just remember the total funding amount is a million dollar which includes the direct funding and indirect funding amount. Now let's wait for the system to generate or create the award along with the project and associated funding details. Alright, so there you go. The award has been just created and now it is showing us the details out here. So you see this is the award we have uh, given and appended it with underscore A. So we can clearly identify that this is an award and here it gives the contract start and end date and the associated funding amount. So this is the financial details it gives and it has not been budgeted as yet and it has not been charged as, as yet. So hence the budget amount and the actual charge is against the award is zero at the moment. So you see the unbudgeted amount is $1 million still and other financial or other details are shown over here. Now at this time you can edit the details what is shown over here or you can simply hit the done button like this. Okay and there you go so the new award has uh, just been created and we have to basically query to find out where our award is lying so i'm going to go back to task menu go to manage awards you see our uh, award should be listed over here you see over here dhhs underscore uh, 10 12 2021 was the name we have given and here is the award number we have given 10 12 2021 underscore a so basically this is the way you create an award and what is the status right now you see it is pending approval and who is the principal investigator this is brock phillips other details you can see after you click on this uh, hyperlink over here to see the details of the award and uh, other associated details of the project you can see it in uh, project dashboard so if you uh, change if you change the view to projects and look for projects and then there you would be able to see the details so the entire idea for this movie is to show you how you can quickly create an award and associate it with a newly created project and a funding amount for that particular award